Our top story, last minute work at the state capitol. Time is running out for lawmakers to get bills passed before the session ends. Yeah, they have until midnight, but lawmakers are struggling to find common ground with the governor. Political reporter John Croman is watching over all the activity at the capitol. John, where does work stand? Well, you know, they're still inside hustling to try to pass a bonding bill in the next two hours, but everything they've done in the last 48 hours may be for naught because Governor Dayton just told us he plans to veto the new version of the tax bill and the spending bill, and he's putting the blame on Republicans for sending him things he can't accept. It has nothing to do with the best interests of Minnesota. It's all about themselves, their own reelection, and it is disgusting. The words on the screen are among the top priorities of the session, many still hanging in the balance, either not passed or headed for vetoes. And the blame game is in full swing. He listened, and he put it in the bill. So don't tell me Republicans don't listen. Governor Dayton took heat. Veto! Not just for his veto of the tax bill, but for using second graders as a backdrop. Urging them to chant, one, two, three, veto. Let's talk about using kids as bargaining chips. Dayton's also under fire for vetoing a bill that would reimburse the people who run local driver's license bureaus, $10. known as the deputy registrars. Dayton knocked it down because it didn't provide enough funding to fix the Minlar system. He says he supports deputy registers, but when he puts the veto on the bill, he's not. He had an opportunity, a clean bill sent by itself. Again, I sympathize with the deputy registrars, but uh, that's only partially solving the problem here. I want to solve the whole problem. An attempt to tax prescription drug makers to pay for opioid addiction programs fell by the wayside, prompting Republican Keith Frankie to reveal he discovered a friend dead from an overdose last week. My brother came out and said, you better call 911, John is not responding. Now, I've been dealing with this all week, members. Now, the opioid fee was something that uh, Democrats liked, governors liked, the Re Republican liked, uh, just couldn't get traction in the House. Other big development tonight, remember on Friday, everybody said they're going to send a standalone school safety bill to the governor. Well, the Republicans decided today not to do that. They're going to leave it in other bills, but those bills may be vetoed. Back okay. to you. A lot to sift through. Thanks, John.